what I did is I cut it up into slices of tried to be as random as possible. So some of these pieces are very cut. They have cut edges on most sides, which is kind of this pile over here. So these are more cut. These ones I cut larger pieces and then smashed them apart with a hammer. So these ones are slightly more broken. And uh, this is more than a barrel's worth, but uh, I'm going to fill up a barrel and I'll save the leftovers for the next batch. Here is the lapidolite. It is now done with the second stage, or 220. You can see it's got a lot of iron in it. A lot of the stuff has kind of got a rusty hue to it. Lapidolite. But uh, I was worried about it. It had like a lot of knocked out. It was rough. But, you know, it's getting better. I uh, am not as concerned now that this will be kind of a gravelly textured finish. I think it might polish up better than I was expecting. So, let's put this back in at 600 and get it spinning. You can see my barrel is not even half full, or maybe about half full, so I'm going to top this, I will not top it off, but add, uh, add a pretty decent amount of pellets along with the grit, so it gives the stuff a little bit of a cushion as it spins. Okay, here's the Lapidolite, just finished with 600 grit and dried off, and it's really looking great. I couldn't be happier with what we've got going on right here, it is really, really smooth now. And it just needs to get that nice glass-like polish. So I'm going to put this back in with microalumina, give it an, about another week, and it should be ready to go. And here it is, all finished. Looks really cool. It's uh, quite glossy, but it does have like little pits, as I was expecting, as the stuff was tumbling. It did uh, come up with a slightly like, I don't know, hammer-peened uh, steel kind of look. Just a minute, buddy. My kitty wants to play. But, uh, yeah, with the, with the little sparkles of mica in it and stuff, it's, uh, it's actually quite attractive. So the stuff came out a lot uh, better than I thought. When I first put it in, it was getting really gravelly and uh, sandy, and I didn't think that it was going to hold up and actually take a polish. I thought it was going to be like sandstone and just keep, uh, keep wearing away and crumbling. But in the end, oh, I have a photobomb. Hi, Harry. But uh, in the end, it uh, came out pretty well. Okay, so thanks for watching, and uh, make sure you come back again soon. And uh, please comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, make sure you check out Bob at the Software Lion Roadshow as well.